So former Packers wide receiver Greg Jennings was on Kay Adams' podcast in the past couple of days and was asked about the Packers. And he goes into depth about the Packers and their receivers. So Kay Adams asks, is there a receiver that sticks out to you or impressed you the most? And here is Greg Jennings' response. He says, for me, I really like all of them. Obviously, if Christian Watson, he can stay healthy, we saw what he was able to do with Aaron. But Jaden Reed, for me, is a guy that I'm looking to take the next step because similar to myself, he came in, he played a crucial role, but it was minimized to a degree because of, you know, just the other guys being in front of him. What I do believe this year is he takes the next step. And he was already impactful, but the more experience you gain, the more confidence that comes with that. So with Jordan Love having a season with him now, and now an offseason, the maturity being obviously underneath both of them, I look for Jaden Reed to really have an impact here. Then he talks about Romeo Dobbs. He says this, Romeo Dobbs, the way that he finished the season, he has he probably has the most upside in my opinion because he's unique. He can play any position. You can move him anywhere. He's kind of the more durable one, if you will. So Romeo Dobbs, I like the way he ended the season <coughs> on a high note. Eliminated the drops, made tons of huge plays for Jordan. And we've talked about the Packers receivers, and we all know that this this room is so loaded. There's so much depth here. And I honestly think that, let's say if Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson weren't here, I think that Dontavian Wicks in 2024 would be a top 10, 15 receiver when it comes to production. But because there's so many talented receivers here, that's why it's tough for one guy, I think, to really be head and shoulders better than the rest of them. In years past with Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams was, was clearly head and shoulders over any other receiver, and the stats showed that. That's why Devontae had such massive years, year after year after year, because while at times the Packers did have some other talented receivers, there was no one who was near his talent level. And I think that when you ask anyone, you know, who's your favorite Packers receiver, who do you think is the most talented, you get so many different responses from Dontavian Wicks, Jaden Reed, Romeo Dobbs, and that just shows that all these guys can do it in any game. And I still don't think in 2024 there's going to be one guy who has, you know, numbers that are way higher than anyone else. I still think that because of just how similarly talented these guys are, we're going to continue to see that, um, you know, I guess but lots of these guys are going to have similar stat lines um, to each other because of just how similarly they are when it comes to talent. And the question is, if Watson stays healthy, Christian Watson, then I don't think we can, you know, think that he can't be you know the best receiver on this team he has that ability and we've seen him in stretches do it the question with him is consistency which lots of times comes down to him not being able to stay healthy and we saw in the playoffs Romeo Dobbs came in huge six receptions for 151 yards versus Dallas four receptions for 83 yards versus the 49ers and I really don't think it's a problem that we don't really have a legit number one guy these guys switch off and you know one day Someone else has a big day. Let's say one day it's Romeo Dobbs, one day it's Jaden Reed, one day it's Christian Watson, one day it's Dontavian Wicks, Bo Melton, and Malik Heath even had some some big days. And so that's nice because we all know there are tons of injuries in the NFL throughout the season. So some of these guys are probably going to get injured throughout the year, and the Packers aren't really phased by these injuries. It happened last year. Watson missed a lot of time. Wicks missed some time. And when those guys miss time, the other guys come through in a really big way. And so that's, I think, the, the nice thing about having all these different receivers who have a little bit of different skill sets, but have the ability, I think, in lots of offenses to be a number one guy. And honestly, Dontavian Wicks, I mean, he just made it look so easy last season. That's why I think that if Watson wasn't here, Dodds wasn't here, Wicks would have an insane year. I just think that lots of these guys upside when it comes to production and numbers is sort of capped just because there's so much talent across the board. And Jordan Love is not focused on one guy at all times. Like at times, Aaron Rodgers could be. And I think it's partly because Devontae was so much better than lots of those receivers. But here in Green Bay, I mean, it's it's a serious debate as to who who is the best receiver here. You can debate Watson, Dobbs, Reed, Wicks. Um, honestly, I think that you have an argument for each of those guys being the best receiver, which shows just how talented this entire room is and you know how similar they are in talent, which is why Jordan Love can spread the ball around. If some of these guys were absolutely terrible and weren't getting open, then Jordan Love probably wouldn't be throwing to them a whole lot. So lots of these guys get open, make big plays. So the Packers have uh, a nice room here in the receiver room, and that's why they didn't have to really add anyone at receiver in the draft. So uh, if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.